Lance Liebman is a force of nature. He's enthusiastic, he's generous, he's got boundless energy. He is straightforward, the kind of things that you'd learn on the playground in the fourth grade. He's honest, he's uh, trustworthy. He's one of the smartest people in the room all the time. He has judgment, he has depth, and he has a wonderful personality. The jovial way, and I know no other way to put it, that he approaches the very serious business that we're about, I think is, is the hallmark of, of the organization. I do think of him as a partner. He makes everybody feel like they're his partners, and uh, that's another reason the staff loves him. When I think of Lance, I think of uh, incredibly thoughtful, always trying to find the best in people. What is so amazing about Lance is, first of all, he knows everyone. Everybody knows him. There's not anybody in the scholarship of law professors who won't take the call when Lance calls. He seems to know everybody in the legal academy, and sometimes I think he knows everybody in the legal profession. And he's also extremely good at just picking up the phone and reaching out to people and calling them. When I say he's got a good Rolodex, it's not just that he's got a name and a telephone number. He knows those people and they know him. And so he was able to attract uh, top people uh, to be our reporters as well as uh, people to be our advisors. And he knows everybody. So what is it that Lance brings that makes him perfect for that? Uh, for that job. He's genuinely curious. Lance Liebman's one of the more persuasive people you'll ever meet. He's got a lot of charm, and he makes sense. Supervising a bunch of academics, each working on their own project, is itself an enormous challenge. And Lance is somehow able to have those discussions with people and never make them mad or defensive. And that's a very remarkable set of talents. He has a combination of, of uh, good nature and uh, persistence and likability that's really uncommon in the legal academy and, and anywhere else. And as a result of that, I, I found it impossible to say no. You try to guide really smart, knowledgeable people and you don't know what you're talking about, it's a disaster. Lance did it as well as anybody I could imagine. Well, you know, the job of director is enormously difficult and I think people don't appreciate how difficult it is because I think you've got to have a kind of intellectual breadth uh, that allows you to have a significant role in the great variety of projects in which the ALI is engaged. I was on the search committee. Bill Webster was leading up the search committee when Jeff Hazard uh, had announced that he was leaving. I was uh, very happy when Lance uh, agreed to do it. Well, let me say that I had the privilege of serving as chairman of the nominating committee for between 19 and 20 years. Nothing I did on, uh, in that connection gave me more pleasure than serving on the search team that persuaded Lance Liebman to come from what he was doing at Columbia and be with us. And when Lance came along, I think there were some members who said, wait a minute, Lance is not like Jeff. Of course, Jeff wasn't like Herb. And none of them should be because you never find a replacement. You only find a successor. Lance comes out of a tradition, a great American tradition, of people who primarily think about public service. It's not a job that many people can do all the pieces of, and he does all the pieces. I mean, let's start with the, the basics. He's, he's, he's probably, you know, the most brilliant or one of the two or three most brilliant lawyers I've ever met. Keep in mind that Lance goes zero to 60 as fast as anybody I know. That is, when confronted with an area that he hasn't really worked in before, he can figure out what's important, where the fault lines are, and who's good faster than almost anybody I've ever seen. It would be hard to find a more enthusiastic, energetic ambassador for ALI than Lance Liebman. Lance has marvelous human warmth and a great sense of humor and a real burning passion about our what it is we do. And the thing about Lance is he's 
so disarming. And the thing that I love about Lance's sense of humor is it's always at his own expense, never at anybody else's expense. And he is so unassuming, you know, he shows up with his backpack and his hair flying 42 different directions. <laughs> Please don't use this, but I'll just tell you anyway. When uh, Stephanie is going on vacation, he'll call me and he'll say, okay, great. She's out of the office. Now we can really take charge of the place. <laughs> you can't help but like Lance. He is a mensch. Lance strikes me as one of the most self-effacing people I know. Lance also has a very appealing way of working with people, of making people want to do their best. He's very creative, uh, he's very humorous. He knows how to uh, get people working together. Before we get down to work, he always has a joke, a bit of gossip, a little story, maybe it's about his brilliant grandchildren, or uh, baseball, or his witty and no-nonsense wife, Carol. Oh, Lance is, uh, what can I say? I think of him sometimes as a teddy bear. Lance makes this process a lot of fun. I mean, he's just, he has a love for this whole process that uh, is kind of infectious. He has been an inspiration and a joy. From my perspective, the thing you have to understand about Lance Liebman is how much he enjoys and likes people. Well, Lance just has a remarkable set of personal gifts. He's cheerful, he's upbeat, he's positive, he's friendly, he's always got a perfectly apt story for every occasion. And of course, in addition to that, he's so very smart. He enjoys people, and he lets you know that, and that's wonderful. He can gather consensus in situations where you wouldn't think it would be possible. And I think that's because his goodwill comes across so, so uh, clearly. I mean, you, you just couldn't hope for uh, a, a better leader. I have been just incredibly happy with, with him as the director. Lance will be very much missed. It's a big loss, I think, for ALI, uh, and he, he will leave incredibly uh, big shoes to fill, uh, but he also leaves us with a very, very fine example of what a leader uh, of the organization can be. So Lance may be stepping down as director, but uh, his imprint on the organization and his friendships remain, and I hope he will continue to call me five times a day. We have been so lucky to have him, and I hope he won't go too far from us in the future.